Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect toolbox for your scooter. And in this video, I will show you how. how. Well, hello and welcome. Today we are going to make a little tool bag for your scooter. Unfortunately, what they give you when you buy your scooter is really almost nothing. So they give you a screwdriver, they give you a little thing to remove the spark plug, they give you one key. So if something happened on the street with your scooter, you're going to have some problems. So it's better if you really upgrade your little tool bag in your scooter with something a little more you know a, little, a lot more little things okay a little more toys for you so if something I'm wearing with your scooter you're ready okay the first thing on my list is a little towel okay towel is very important because you can clean things and you can see clean you can see better way if something happens some there is an oil leak or something you need to clean something and look what's happening okay this one is the first thing you're going to put in your little bag very important now I love this little bag that you can put everything in the little pockets right here okay it's the little towel that's one of the first thing you're going to need number two the I love those are gloves that you really need some gloves when you work with your scooter something happened on the street and you really don't want to have your hands dirty okay so gloves are really important I understand right now with this uh, time of the year or this time you can know it's not easy really to find some gloves but try to find some gloves and put them inside the little bag okay so you're going to have a few gloves all right here you're going to have the gloves after that there's a lot of little things that you're going to need especially a screwdriver is really important and I really like this one that I found this one at the dollar store <laughs> uh, where you can find a lot of little things that you're going to need for this bag it's, you don't really need to spend hundred dollars to make this bag you need to spend twenty dollar maximum twenty five dollar and you can buy a lot of little things that you're going to need just in case in emergency your scooter breakdowns you're not going to use these tools every day because uh, these tools are not everyday tool these tools can handle like a five time ten time use maximum okay those are an emergency tools okay so this is a fantastic one. this has a lot of pointy this one has a little uh, right here there's Phillips screwdriver the flat screwdriver there is a, a, a little like a Allen wrench size number six right here and this one will help you to tight your mirror because the mirrors are the worst thing in those scooter because they always go like that so Sometimes if you have a problem you can tie them up if you have a problem with them You don't that's something really is not should not be bothering you too much because If those those mirror go like that your scooter still can go so Don't pay too much attention to all to those certain things Go home fix them when you're home. You don't, don't need to fix things in the middle of the street Only fix things in the middle of the street on the side of the street Don't stay on the middle of the street on the side in the parking lot underneath the tree we away from traffic you're going to fix what you have to fix okay so it doesn't be important if you have to fix something if you don't have to fix just go home fix the problem home okay this is a screwdriver that is just one dollar and it's fantastic and i can help you a lot with this one you can screw, unscrew the air filter you can unscrew the carburetor you can unscrew many many things now this one you're gonna place it in the bag now because i say you can unscrew the carburetor there's something really that you can do because sometimes your scooter it doesn't work because the, the flow of the fuel doesn't go through the carburetor or the venturi channel so that's the problem that sometimes your jet main jet gets dirty so to fix that problem you can buy the specific tool to clean the main jet but as an emergency a paper clip uh, that's the best thing you can have okay so you just open up the paper clip when you you flip the carburetor around and with this one you just open you know make it straight uh, 
and you can clean the main jet without forcing too much don't damage the main jet because the, the main jet are easily damage more damageable because uh, they're made of brass so they're very soft metal so with this one you can clean the main jet so take some few paper clips uh, and place it inside the bag okay this one is important now something really important that you're going to need uh, is to have uh, the spark plug remover there is a problem sometimes with the spark plug that gets dirty or sometimes <laughs> at the wrong time the gap of the spark plug decide to be too wide you know it sometimes happens sometimes when you're riding and uh, sometimes it pops up from the from from the exhaust so you're like popping because it's sparkling but sometimes it doesn't right make the right explosion inside the cylinder and the, and the piston so what is going to happen then you have to remove the spark plug you know so this one is a screwdriver that comes with the gy 650 cc but i like this one because you can disconnect it right so with this one that is spark plug remover you can place this right here you know and you can remove the spark plug okay now after remove the spark plug you need to have something to clean the spark plug that is really important because if you remove the spark plug and you do not do not have anything to clean the spark plug you know is you don't work for nothing so at that point you need to have a little sandpaper sandpaper right here this one is really important this one you can buy at the dollar store a dollar they give you like 10 pieces of sandpaper you only need one you know you don't really really many for that emergency for that time you need a piece of sandpaper that will be the fantastic thing to have in this little bag okay now place it right here on the front of the bag the bag that you can buy at the dollar store for a dollar okay you can place right here the little sandpaper now unfortunately sometimes sandpaper with humidity they get a little not too good they get a little too soft so if you have a little brush that is made of steel brush right here to clean the spark plug it will be a fantastic thing because this one always really help you a lot now that when the uh, your spark plug is dirty that's what you're going to need you know after you remove the spark plug and you check if you have a spark or not sometimes you don't have a spark because uh, because the the gap that you have a spark plug is too wide so being too wide uh, you need to lower the spark plug uh, uh, dry on the top so the best one is to have a coin like that those are a coin that you can buy right there at the auto parts store they're very cheap and they give you this one and you can open up this power plug or check the gap right here on the side okay this one is very important so this one can help you out so make sure you place it right here you know in on the side of the little bag so you remember that you have the little coin right here now sometimes is it possible that your spark plug is done and it doesn't want to work anymore maybe because it's cracked and it's discharging on on the outside of your motor inside instead of the inside of the motor so a smart idea will be to buy a new spark plug and keep it inside your tool bag that's something really you know good and cheap maybe five dollar three five dollar online you have a spark plug that is fantastic you know and uh, you don't have any problem you just change the spark spark plug you don't even have to clean it the other one you just change it and the other one you throw it away and recycle it okay now place the new spark plug or another spark plug that you have on the front part of the little bag right there okay so that's something you're going to have unfortunately you need to have a little a lot of little things to fix your school especially if you are on the street and uh, something happened okay another thing that you really need right here i like electrical tape because with this one you can do many things electrical tape you can put things together you can hold things together especially if it's plastic with this one can help you because it's not going to break the plastic but it's not going to melt because plastic is not hot so this one you have to keep this uh, electrical tape away from really hot places kind of like the exhaust the motor and stuff like that 
but if you have a problem with the plastic and you need to keep plastic together this one is great I like this one because it's uh, smaller it's cheaper for one dollar at the dollar store but if you like you also can bring a duct tape but duct tape is about like that but you know listen at the end you just need to get home and safe and be safe okay so keep yourself if something happens keep yourself out of the street on a parking lot underneath the tree in a safe location where you can fix your scooter if this if the problem is not really too big okay so but don't forget if something happened on the street you have an iphone i'm here for you so if something happened send me a message on, on youtube i would love to help you unfortunately sometimes youtube is delaying on mm, sending messages what i what i noticed and sometimes I kind of feel like I'm answering a little too late to my fans or people that are in members in my in my YouTube channel and I, I kind of feel sorry about it but it, it's not me okay so remember right here electrical tape that's something else you should put in a little bag okay I will make a list of all the things that you're going to need underneath the script description of this video so you're going to remember more or less what you're going to need but it's fun to go like to a dollar store or arbor freight and go for shopping for the little for for the little tool bag that you're going to need on your scooter to be safe when you ride your scooter at least you have a peace of mind that something happened you have something with you okay so next thing you're going to need is uh, right here little pliers those pliers they are needle nose pliers or uh, they call a grips plier you know the one that gets stuck you know i love these ones and this one they're a little smaller if you look the size of my hand there is smaller size this one you can find them at uh, arbor freight and uh, they're more pocket size i can see actually a little belt tool size you know so those one are great i have this one and i also have this one okay so these one are fantastic they're not really for a great job for big jobs but the only thing you need you need a tool that is going to help you out to get out of the problem that you have on the scooter so when then when you fix the scooter on the street at that point uh, you can come back home and do the perfect job at home okay with me if you need me <laughs> okay so those are two things you can put in the bag right here the two pliers okay this one is a little wire that you can find a steel wire that you can buy even at a dollar store very inexpensive a dollar okay this one is for the harder place of your scooter if your exhaust break down is if your clamp at the exhaust breaks so with this one you can tie it your exhaust at the, at the frame of your scooter or actually at the swing arm of your scooter because remember the exhaust moves with a swing arm of the scooter don't tie the, the swing arm to the frame because uh, there, there's not gonna work okay so if your exhaust is breaking down with this one you can help yourself and tie your exhaust and make a few more miles to, to the first gas station or reach yourself you go home with this one and then when you're home you can put a new exhaust or you can fix the one you have okay so a wire little wire you know 10 foot wire put it inside the little bag okay right after you're going to need another plier that is i like this one because uh, this one doesn't really lock like the other ones so this one is kind of like more like a free hand so with this one if you have to tie something with this one you don't have to really lock your pliers with this one so it's a free plier that's a good thing and this one you can find at the dollar store for about a dollar is a fantastic price that you're going to find this one that's another tool that you're going to need in a little bag very important scissors scissors sometimes for wiring for wire sometimes for cutting the electrical tape many things you can use scissors okay very important how much a dollar okay right after that very important i love this one those are zip ties zip ties are very important and uh, because your scooter is really made of plastic and the plastic are connected with the screw 
that they are on the plastic. So there is a frame on plastic. So uh, sometimes the plastic break down and you need to hold it with something, with like something like a zip tight or something, you know, before you fix it this, the right way, the plastic or the body of the scooter. So zip tight, sometimes you can use it in many ways, okay? So those are very important. You can find at the dollar store for a dollar, they will give you 50 of these ones. <laughs> so you can have many, many colors and many, many different size uh, from the dollar store. And you can use them many, many ways and it's fantastic, okay? Great idea, zip tight. Right after this one, at the dollar store, you can find a little light. This one will cost you two dollar, a dollar for a light, a dollar for a battery. And let me tell you, this one is fantastic. If something happened to you at night time with the scooter, that your scooter is not working, you can use a light to see what you're doing, okay? And uh, I understand that many phones, they have uh, the light behind that and uh, they, but the problem they discharge very fast if you keep your light on okay so if you keep your light on it's better to have a little light for two dollar than uh, flashing the light with a thousand dollar phone okay so this one you can break if you break a thousand dollar phone is more expensive so get a little light for two dollar this one is a little, a little toy for your bag tool bag right here unbelievable huh? lots of little toys now these scooters are made with a lot of little bolts and a lot of little bolts are usually 8 millimeter, 8 millimeter, 7 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter right here those are all the socket that you're really going to need okay 8, 7, 12 and 10 if you see my 10 millimeter I always <laughs> paint my 10 millimeter because this one is the best thing that you're going to need for the scooter many times every time I need a 10 millimeter can never find it so sometimes I paint it gold sometimes I paint it black so when I need a 10 millimeter I find my 10 millimeter right away okay this one is very important now because you have all the socket right here put them inside the bag you're going to need the wrench right here and if you want to remove the CVT cover that is on the lower left side of your scooter that is your transmission, kind of like transmission of your scooter that's what really makes your scooter moving you're going to need a little extension because if you have the little wrench right here but you don't have the extension you cannot remove those bolts so you need a, a one quarter extension right here and you know about like long like that this side is perfect side to remove those bolt that they are at the CVT cover now the reason why you really want to remove the CVT cover <laughs> when you are on the street actually it's not supposed to be on the street it should be on the side of the street doing any kind of work to your scooter if something happened you have to open the CVT cover because your belt is not working anymore your belt is all shredded so sometimes happen unfortunately uh, the, the, the way these scooters moves is with the belt okay so if this one break you're gonna hear listen your move your motor moving you know your motor turning like ooh, ooh, but you're not going anywhere because your belt is broken now there is a way to change this belt uh, if your scooter if you if you don't have any other tool like large tool like a, uh, like a, a impact wrench for your variator or for your clutch there is there is, you can change this belt easily without removing that so you will have to put first the front part right here that will be at the variator and then squeezing really hard the back side uh, of the clutch you can insert the back part right here or you can do reverse so you know sometimes you can do reverse too but anyway there is a lot of of those videos online that you can find they they can help you out how to place the belt without any tools okay now remember if you something happen on the street please send me a message on YouTube write a comment if you need me I'm always there unfortunately sometimes uh, 
uh, YouTube delays on the uh, comment that comes to me, it comes to me an hour later or sometime in two hours or sometime even 20 minutes later. And sometimes minutes when you are on the street is, uh, is a really a long time because something happened, you really struggling and you want to go to work or you have to go home, please stay calm, let's try to fix your problem. You have a little tool bag right here that hopefully is going to help you out to fix your scooter, okay? And uh, plus I have a lot of videos uh, on YouTube, on my channels, that you can see if something went wrong with your scooter, hopefully, hopefully they're going to help you out to fix your scooter when this is your stressful moment that your scooter is not working. Okay, another little thing that I found is right here, is a little mirror that I found at a dollar store. You know, sometimes the scooter are so tight, especially at the carburetor, and you cannot see if your uh, fuel is going to the carburetor or the fuel is leaking somewhere around the carburetor. But with this little mirror that you can find at the dollar store for one dollar, can help you out to see if your carburetor is getting flow or fuel flow okay or if there is any leak that's very important now this one is a stretchable one you can put it right here on your bag right after that an exacto knife is fantastic see so you have scissors inside your little bags but sometimes scissors cannot get where where you can get with an exacto knife sometimes with an exacto knife you can get in really short spaces and cut what you have to cut like uh, you know the tape or, or you have to cut the electrical tape or you have to cut the wire or you have to cut something please make sure you cut yourself because the exacto knife is a really sharp object or tool okay it's in your little bag so don't put your hands there or don't leave this one open inside the little bag then you're gonna put your hands there you're gonna grab the sharp side of this knife or this uh, exacto knife so it's not really place you know really you know nice to squeeze this one so just squeeze close this one put it inside the little exacto knife right here exacto knife is really important now right here this one is a uh, it's a little screwdriver you can connect uh, with your socket so this one because sometimes with the socket you cannot go inside with the with the little wrench you cannot go inside tight space this one sometimes can help you out very important now very important when you're working with your scooter hopefully you're not going to need it but at the dollar store you can find band-aids Hopefully you're not going to need it, but sometimes when you work with the scooter there is some sharp area like around the carburetor that you can cut yourself. So with this one you can put a little band-aid, but please make sure you're safe when you do any kind of work, you have the little light in the bag, make sure that you do the right thing and make sure you can keep calm, okay? So you can fix problem when you're calm. If you get into um, you're nervous because you see your scooter is when you know it's happened what happened you know you cannot do nothing about it and you can fix the problem but listen if you have a band-aid you can cover okay anyway thank you very much for watching my video I hope you enjoy I try to do my best to give you a little knowledge and what you really need on your scooter to fix the scooter when you or something happened when you're traveling with your scooter when you're riding with your scooter be safe riding with scooter is always really important please okay keep an eye on everybody left and right you know and uh, subscribe to my channel please click the like button is always really important and thank you very much for watching have a great day